This is the basics of Texas Hold'em. Here I'm going to show you just all the basic level, the beginning levels of the game for all the beginners out there. I'm going to start by just using this, some definitions so that you're familiar with the game. Check, fold, raise, bet, or call. Check means that there's no bet present at the time and you don't want to bet either. You just want to go along with everyone else. Check, you can also, instead of saying check, you can just knock on the table. They'll know, everyone should know what that means. That's a check. A bet is if there's no bet present at the time. You want to basically put your chips up and represent that you have decent cards by betting. By betting, you forcing everyone else at the table to either call your bet or fold their cards. It's a good thing to bet because by betting, you see who has a good hand and who doesn't. Because if they don't have a good hand, they're going to fold. And you have a raise. A raise is let's say the bet is ten dollars and you think that you have a really good hand you want to bet even more you want to make it forty dollars and everyone else at the table has to call your raise or if not fold now a call is if someone bets twenty dollars at the table and you want to bet twenty dollars too you're just calling you're not betting you're calling fold is basically if there's any bet present at the time and you don't think that you have a good chance in winning the pot at all, take your two whole cards and just throw them away. In Texas Hold'em, or basically any poker game, when you're folding, you throw your cards face down into the pot. You should never show your cards because then all the other players know what you had. You should never show your cards when folding. The term I'm going to talk about here is only used in no limit Texas Hold'em all in. All in is when you take all the chips that you have to play with, let's say you have 5,000 in chips and you think your hand is that good, you're pushing all of your chips into the pot. You're going all in. And if you lose the hand, you're out of the tournament or the game, whatever you're playing at the time. It's good to go all in only if you have a good hand. I wouldn't risk going all in if you don't have a good hand. One more term is called a bluff. A bluff is when you don't have good cards and you're basically lying. You're basically, you want to deceive people. You want people to think that you have a good hand. Let's just say you had absolutely nothing and you bet $100 and the other person folds. You have successively bluffed them. Any game, home game, casino, anywhere, there's a white button basically that will say dealer. This rotates clockwise like this because it's an advantage to act last in the game. To act means to basically do whatever you're gonna do. If you're the dealer, you act last in the hand. That means you get to decide whatever you wanna do last. That's always an advantage in Texas Hold'em. Whoever the dealer is, the two people to their left over here are always the designated, they're called blinds. For some reason, this is always the hardest part of the game for people, to, for newcomers to understand, so I'm gonna make it easy. First person to the left of the dealer is known as the little blind and the person after them is known as a big blind. This is just another word for a forced bet. Basically, these people have to put in chips no matter what, basically to get the, the pot going, to stir up the pot. They always have to put in the two forced bets. Big blind is always double whatever the little blind is. So here the little blind is $5. The big blind has to be 10. The little blind in any game will always be dealt the first card in poker. After the little and big blind post their blinds, everybody will get two cards dealt face down so no one else at the table can see their hand. After everybody gets their cards, the first person whose turn it will be is the person after the big blind. So this hand over here, they either have to fold, which means throw away their cards, or they have to match whatever the big blind is. So if they want to continue seeing more cards, they have to put up whatever the big blind is. Everybody else at the table has the same option. They can either fold, or they can call whatever the big blind is, or there's an option to raise. Raising is betting more than the big blind. Now after everybody at the table has made their choice of whether they're gonna fold, call, or raise, it's up to the little blind. He already has $5 in, so if he wants to continue with the hand, he just has to put in whatever the big blind is if nobody has raised. If someone has raised, then he has to match whatever the raise is if he wants to continue. So here he continues. And since the big blind is already in 
for the, the big blind, the $10. He doesn't have to do anything else. If there's no raise, he's automatically in. He has the option to raise or check. And only check in poker if there hasn't been, uh, if you're the big blind, if there hasn't been a raise. And if you're not the big blind, you can only check if there's no other bet currently going on in the table. This is the pot. This is the little blind, the big blind, and this guy's chips here. They're all in it now. Now what happens in Texas Hold'em is the dealer will take one card off of the top and put it face down for nobody to see. That doesn't matter. That's just basically to separate and mix up the cards a little bit. Now there's going to be three cards that are dealt face up. This is known as the flop. You use these three cards as part of your hand. In my previous video of the ranking hands of poker, I told you your option is to get the best five card hand and I named all the hands. Same thing in Texas Hold'em. You want to use your two cards to get the best five card hand in poker. After the flop, there's another round of betting beginning with the little blind. And after all the bets are said and done, another card is put down to the side and another card is turned face up for everybody to use. This is known as the turn. Fourth out of five cards that will be dealt up for everybody to use. After the turn, another round of bet betting or checking, whatever you, whatever is set at the table, begins with the little blind. After that, the last card is down, and the last card known as the river is dealt face up. So now here you have five cards face up and two in everybody's hand. Option for each player out of these seven cards is to make the best five card hand. I flipped over the cards for the purpose of the video. In a real game, if you're the loser, you do not have to show your cards. Now, let's see. The little blind has a straight because he has on the board, this is also known as the board or the community, there's a two, a four, a five, and a six on the board, and he has the three to make the sequential five cards in different suits. That's a straight. Big blind just has the second lowest ranking hand, a pair of sixes. This guy has the second lowest ranking hand, also a pair of twos. In this case, the little blind going all the way to the end would be betting the most because he has the straight. And who has the straight gets the entire pot added to his chips. The option in poker is to get all of the chips off of the table and basically knock out all the other players. After the hand is over, the dealer button will rotate clockwise along with the little and big blinds. And then again, the little blind will post that and the big blind will post double that. Everybody will get their cards, basically repeat. 